Also wanted to, to get your thoughts on a, a viral tweet that's kind of made its rounds on NBA Twitter. Um, five players from the 2016 draft were, that were, they just put them all, you know, in a, in a graphic and asked people to, to rank them or draft them. Um, so five players are Jalen Brown, Jamal Murray, Damata Sabonis, Pascal Siakam, and Brandon Ingram. And I've seen probably every combination of players, and it couldn't have come at a crazier time coming off of Jamal Murray being a crazy playoff riser, Jalen exactly. Brown having a disappointing playoff, especially in the Eastern Conference Finals. So mm-hmm. um, I'm interested to see your thoughts because I've seen, like I said, I've seen, I've seen Siakam first. I've seen Siakam last. I've seen Sabonis <laughs> first. I've seen Sabonis last. So I don't think there's any wrong answer, but I'm interested to see your opinion on this, you know, what, what people are saying here. So teams don't matter. This is just ranking, like, how – which would I rather have, basically? Right, yeah. Uh, see, this one, this is hard. I'm going to tell you right now, I think that Sabonis is last for me. Really? I think that he's last just off the fact that we've seen in this playoffs. I don't think his play style necessarily translates to the playoffs in a great way. And we mm-hmm. kind of seen it like a, the big that is a post-up big, but that doesn't really shoot, but it's also not like a great rim protector. Like, I don't think that really trans- translate well to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So, like, he's not a bad player, obviously, but I think I would have Sabonis last. I also think this JB recency bias is killing a lot of people. He is not the worst player on this list. He's not. I'm sorry. He's not yeah, the worst no. player on this list. So I can't have him last. Uh, I'm looking at the players right now. This is tough. Ooh. All right, so I already got some bonus last. So it's between JB, Murray, Siakam, and BI. I remember before I said I like BI over Siakam. So I at least got to be consistent with that mm-hmm. when we talked about the ringer top 100. Oh, Siakam's nice, though. I think I'll have – Is it, for me, it's JB and Jamal one or two. I'm just trying to figure out which one I'd rather have first. I think I'll lean – I'll lean Jamal. I think I'll lean Jamal first just because this – and this is not like – the, the recency bias with him is a little bit different, I feel like, because this, this isn't his first postseason, like, playing well he's done right. this in the bubble right. if he never got hurt who knows where he'd be at right he now? he probably right. has multiple all-star selections he might have an all-nba selection That's what I'm you don't know where he'd be at right now this right. is not this is not like a new occurrence for him so mm-hmm. i think i'll have jamal first i'll still have jb second even though he has no left hand <laughs> but like <laughs> he can work on that <laughs> he's young he can work on that so i'll go jamal <laughs> jb i'll go bic Siakam sabonis okay Okay. I have a little bit of a different list. And I, like you, am a, a little bit biased. B.I. is one of my favorite players to watch. I actually think it's hard to put the bias aside here. I might take B.I. <laughs> first. Ooh. Okay. So I might go B.I. first. And then... It's tight between Siakam and Jamal for that two spot. Mm-hmm. But I think I might go uh, – I feel like Siakam has kind of become underrated a little bit because yeah, he's to continue to have good years in Toronto's post You made a whole NBA like two years ago, right? Yeah. Um, and so even with them kind of having a disappointing year this year, he played very well in Toronto, still is one of the most versatile, you know, fours in the league um, in terms of what he can provide on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So for me, I think I'm going to have to actually go B.I., Siakam, Jamal, Jalen Brown, and then Sabonis last. Ooh, that's tough. That's the, isn't that definitely not a bad list? Definitely yeah. not a bad list. Like you said, I don't think there's no wrong answers, but these it's just interesting to see. These these players are so close and like they're right. They're they're all they're kind like, of within that same tier of players. Exactly. They the bro, they can all like I can see why the list can go from so many different places. So 
I definitely understand it. Mm-hmm. You all, you also have Sabonis last. Is it for the same reasons that I said, or just similarly? Kind of, just yeah. like when I I look at it right, like Bi to me, especially this past season, like we already know what he's been able to do as a scorer. What's really impressed me with him is I think a lot of this has to do with they don't really have a point guard there. Like they've been putting CJ at the one, and then obviously they want they want to do the point forward stuff with Zion, but when he's hurt that role kind of gets deflected onto Brandon Ingram. And this Mm -hmm. year he took a massive leap in his playmaking ability. 100%. So I think his offensive game all around is just, it is on a very elite level. He Obviously, like his ability to score, he's one of those players that feels like he gets into that mode where it's like, you can't stop him. Like you just hope to make it uncomfortable, but like you kind of just have to pray he's going to miss sometimes, right? Like when he gets into Mm -hmm. that, that type of, mode so it's that with Sabonis it's crazy because now I'm thinking about it I have uh Jalen Brown and Sabonis at four and five and they're the only two people on this list that made all NBA this year that guy is kind of crazy <laughs> when you really think about it <laughs> um but yeah it just is I think to your point right his defense is not it leaves a lot to be desired especially from a, a rim protection perspective which is tough as a center in this league um and I think he definitely has got to be a more willing shooter. Um, that being as exploitable as it was in the Warrior series was not good. Um, like that set up the Warriors defense for success a lot more than it should have. Um, so a, a little bit is factored in by that, but, but some of it is just, that's, I think Siakam is just, more versatile as a scorer on the offensive side of the ball. I think he's a better defender. Um, Jamal Murray, to your point, like if he hadn't gotten hurt, I think he, he would be in these same conversations of having made all NBA teams potentially this year, having made all-star teams. Um, so I don't think it's a slight to have him above the guys that already did make all NBA this year, just because he's clearly on that caliber of player. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely benefits from playing with Jokic, but at the end of the day, like their success is, a large part of that is due to his play. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely interesting that the two all NBA guys are NBA guys are last. Um, <laughs> so my list is Brandon Ingram, Siakam, Jamal Murray, Jalen Brown, and then Sabonis. And what's your list? And my list is Jamal Murray, Jalen Brown, Bi, Siakam, Sabonis. Okay. So. Had to make sure we repeat that for the, the TikToks so we could get the yeah. nice little edit in there. <laughs> oh, my God. These guys don't know what they're talking about. He had this guy over. Like, bro, oh, I can see it now. Yeah. It's, bro, it's, it's always going to be opinionated. And like I said, I don't think – you can put them in any order. I'm not going to think it's wrong. Like, they're mm-hmm. all very close. And I think getting into these debates about how do you have this guy ahead of this guy, it's like, bro, it's one spot, you know, like, if you put somebody in a tier they're not supposed to be in, then okay. But like splitting hairs about who's the 12th or the 13th best player in the NBA is like, no, what are cares, we doing bro. here? What are we doing here? 